Hello YouTube, you were looking at a brown box in front of you here, not much to look at. Uh, this is from my buddy Todd, and Todd likes to get involved in a lot of little Facebook live sales and stuff like that, and every once in a while he sees something that he thinks I might like, and he just picks up little Lucy's here and there, and he gave me this box full of Lucy's. You can see there's like a Firebird sticking out right here. Anyway, I have no idea what's in here, and um, he just gave this to me, so just take it. So thank you very much, Todd. Crazy Todd diecast on Instagram. Um, we're just gonna. I decided to make. Why don't we make a quick little video uh, of what is what is in here? But these are all little Lucy's. Some of these are odd brands. I see most of them are Firebirds. It looks like. But we'll just kind of pull them out one by one, and uh, we'll take a peek. So some of these are gonna be in played with condition. Um, it's just little oddball Firebirds and stuff. I think is what this is gonna be um, that he picked up for me over the last little while so we're going to take a look at some of the stuff and uh, just kind of check it out so let's see what we get all right so this first one is a firebird as you can see it is a no-name brand i don't see any brand on here it just says number 106 on the bottom it looks kind of like a yat man it rolls really nice it's got a little bit of suspension played with condition it's got some hair in it and stuff and Looks like some hair wrapped around the axle there. That might clean up a little while. I don't know. It's got this gray plastic base. That's an odd one. And if I don't know what any some of these are, and you guys know the the, the brand of these or something, just chime in uh, in the comments. Let me know. Um, I'm always up for figuring that out without having to try to do research or whatever. So if you guys just know, let me know. All right. So there's that guy, little red Firebird. Uh, let's see here. This next one's in bubble wrap and tape. Let's rip it open. This one, I think I might have one of these. I'm not sure. But so this is in good shape. It's a looks like another no-name China number 803 it says on the bottom. And it is a blackbird, but it is blue. It's kind of like Yat Ming-ish, I think, is what those wheels are from. I want to say. Uh, but again, just kind of an oddball weird branded or no branded really little car and this one's in really good shape and it's got suspension rolls really well it's actually got an interior metal body plastic base riveted together that one's kind of nice that one's not bad uh, let's see here this next one appears to be a 959 hot wheels porsche 959 pretty sure I've got this one in my collection. I've got a pretty robust collection of the Porsche 959s. There's a few that um, I don't have, but I'm pretty sure I've got this one. Of course, I'll have to double check eventually here. But this is a nice casting from Hot Wheels, metal body, metal base. And we got five dot wheels on this one. Pretty decent. Looks kind of cool. Uh, looks like we got another 959 back here. Um, this one... I think I actually needed this one for my collection, but this one's in rough shape. It might clean up a little bit because it doesn't look to be chipped or anything. It just looks to be really dirty. Uh, but I think this is the Valentine's Day car, whatever, release. And I don't think I have it. So if I can clean this up, um, that would be cool. So I might try to do that. We'll see how that could turn out. It's got some weird yellow dirt and whatever on it. I don't know. It looks a little gross. And yeah, it just looks to be dirty, really, more than anything. So that's not bad. Eventually, I have this will be a placeholder, I guess, until I get a mint condition one. So there's that 959. Let's see here. This thing is cool. This is a Road Champs. Yeah, Road Champs, made in Hong Kong, 1982 Trans Am, copyright date 1982. So this is cool, made in Hong Kong. It is metal on metal. A little dirty. Not in perfect condition, but kind of neat. Doors open. If anything, too, like if this is this is kind of neat because this will give me an idea of what else is out there. So even if this is not in mint condition, if I decide I want one in mint condition, I kind of know to look for one. The wheels are in good shape. The body is just not in great condition. It looks a little dirty and stuff like that. I don't know. It's got suspension, though, these road tramp champs. 
That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm digging that one. That's pretty neat. Um, let's see here. We got another one in Boobly Wrap. Let's open that up. Oh, it's a 959. And this one's in rough shape. Some weird no-name brand. Probably like a Maisto or something, Porsche 959. This one's blue. Looks all right. Kind of cool. It's just an oddball. I collect Porsche 959s, obviously, so... I mean, need to get a mint example of that, maybe. All right, so there's that. Let's see, we've got another one in bubble wrap. So this is kind of fun. This is just a, just a nice little easy, interesting video. We don't know what we're going to pull out of here. All right, here's a Firebird. That's in... That's really weird looking. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That front end. <laughs> Made in China. It's an oddball brand. Don't know what it is. Maisto or something. Who knows? It. The, man, it's strange. The way that front end is tooled is really weird. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, it's going blurry here in this white. Look at that. It's like gotten a bit of an accident. Weird, 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 weird. So, I mean, some of these you probably got for like 50 cents at a clip or whatever. So, here's a nice one. Ooh. That's nice. That's actually in really good shape. Here's a Porsche 959 color shifter. These are actually kind of difficult to find in really good shape. Um, they just tend to usually not be. This, this is a metal body uh, color shifter Porsche 959. This one's great. This is a little gem in here. I, I like this a lot. This will definitely go in my collection. I know I don't want have one that's like resting at that hue. And I actually don't know if I've got one at all that's like this. So this is a nice pleasant surprise that this is in here. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. That's that's pretty cool. There's a little flea bite right there. But like I said, it's really tough to get these in really good condition. And this one's in really good condition. So that, that makes me quite happy, actually. Thank you, Todd. Uh, let's see here. What do we got next? And we got another Firebird. This one is a Racing Champions. Okay. It's kind of odd. It's like a $1 Racing Champions car. Plastic base, metal body, plastic wheels. Played with condition, but definitely kind of interesting. So if I do see one of these in mint condition, I would definitely pick one up. Because I'm a Firebird collector. So that is kind of neat never knew that existed again that's one of the cool things about this is you're gonna find see some stuff i never even knew was there i'm gonna go ahead and open up another one here uh, this is made in hong kong this appears to be a yatming and this one is another one i don't think i've ever seen before stickers trans am some weird little like dragon thingy got a little bit of suspension rolls nice plastic base made in Hong Kong um, that's weird I want to say it's a yap they think that yapping is the those the little orange slice wheels or whatever down here I think that's what those are I you know I don't know for sure but so that's kind of neat right something different um, let's see here next. Looks like we got a Matchbox Countach. That's cool. It's in good condition, too. Lamborghini Countach, Matchbox. LP500S. That's kind of interesting. So I don't think I've got one of these in good condition. So this is that's a good that's a win too. Thank you again, Todd. Uh, let's see here. This next one I think this is just 
I think this is the Porsche 959 from the Porsche series. So I'm pretty sure I got a ton of these. This is metal body. This is a plastic base version of the casting, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think that was the only one that came on a plastic base was for that Porsche series. Again, I could be, you know, wildly off, but but there's another Porsche 959. Here's another Firebird. It's in pretty rough shape. Um, it is made in Hong Kong. Uniborn. Uniborn? What the heck is Uniborn? Let's see if I can fix that wheel. I might be able to fix that playing around with that a little bit. It looks like it just, the axle slipped out of the uh, little, how it's like suspension in here. If I can fix it. Ayo. I think I just fixed it. So that's cool. Again, no idea this existed. To find one of these old brands and like off off brand whatever's in mid condition would be really cool. This one's actually I don't know, fair shape. It's not bad. It's not terrible, but just a neat example, I guess, of that. Uh, ooh. Here's a cool one. This is a made in Hong Kong, um, but it's definitely the Tomica tooling. The basic Tomica tooling, I believe it is anyway. So this is a cool little firebird. It's got some flea bites in it. It's red, it's got opening doors. I mean, those are definitely basic Tomica wheels. Interesting. <laughs> Check that out. It's a firebird transan. See that Transan? Made in Hong Kong? Firebird Transan. Transan. That's cool. That's actually really cool. A little dirty. Might clean up a little bit. I don't know. And I forgot what this stuff... I have this weird stuff that I use to clean castings with. I don't think I'm going to do it on camera here. But it's like it's like basically made of crushed walnuts is what it is. I forgot what it was called. It's like model wax or something like that. And uh, it was given to me from my late friend Chuck. And I don't remember what it was called. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments down below, though, because eventually I'm going to need more of it. Uh, next is another one in bubble wrap. And this one's pretty chipped up. Here's a yet. It says yet Ming right on the base of this one, so we, there's no guessing. Another Firebird. It's in pretty rough shape. It has opening doors. Some of these castings that are in rough shape too might be kind of a neat one to eventually make like a custom out of or try to like do a little resto mod with it. In fact. I don't know, maybe Xavier, um, Diecast Show Customs. I've been thinking about sending him another box of kind of like random castings for him to play with. It might be cool to send him uh, like an old Yatning Trans Am, see what he can do with it. He's a very talented individual with that kind of stuff, so it'd be kind of cool to see what he does. Um, oh, wow, this next one is weird. This is a Porsche 959. It's in rough shape. Look at the the wheels on this thing are just weird. Look at that. They don't like even really look like they belong in the car. This thing's got opening doors. Summer. Just look at the base. Made in China. No idea. That is weird. Super weird. All right, so there's that, and here next we got another Porsche 959. This is a Matchbox. I think I have this one, but I'm not sure. If I didn't, I have it now. Basic Matchbox, made in China Matchbox, late 80s probably, I think, early 90s. This thing rolls like a dream. It's got suspension. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Next. It's the Hot Wheels. 
Camaro, it looks like. Oh, just an IROC Z Camaro. It's in good shape. It's cool. That's a nice one. It's a nice basic car. Digging that for sure. It's pretty awesome. And let's see, we got a couple more to go. Hopefully you guys are somewhat enjoying this video. It's kind of fun. I think it's just kind of fun. This next one's ooh, this, this next one's a Kidco. It's another older brand you don't see too often. Uh, so it's a Kidco Firebird made in Macau. This one has an opening hood feature. Interesting. Let's see if we can get a better look underneath that. Weird, like, metal plate in there for the motor. Definitely weird. Uh, it has suspension. Kind of cool. I don't know. It's, again, it's different. I definitely don't have one of these. Cool to get one then. Uh, next one is looks like a Hot Wheels. Firebird, hot bird. That's cool. That's real cool. Digging that for sure. That is pretty neat. Um, that one's from 2007, if I remember correctly. 2007 or 2008. All Stars series, Hot Wheels mainline. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, we get another Firebird. This is a... Oh, this is kind of cool. This is a Corgi. I don't see, I didn't even know Corgi made a Firebird. So now, like, I gotta try to find one in mint condition. It looks like it's missing a wing on the back. Number 11 Firebird. It's a metal base. Made in China. Pontiac Firebird SE. It's heavy. That's kind of cool. So now I got to try to find one of those in good condition. So I'm sure some of these off brands are going to be really tough to actually come across in any sort of mint condition because people weren't really like collecting these like they were valuable when they came out. As far as no, ooh, here's one that's kind of neat. This is a Lockups Kidco Lockups. This would be a cool one to find in mint condition. I actually think the the wheels are neat. Look at that thing rough shape. Uh, these you could actually lock the doors on these cars. Ooh, doors are open on this one. Looks like it got smashed in on top though unfortunately. But again finding one of those in mint condition I think would be a would be a cool find. See it's just kind of interesting like I said just to see what's what's like out there to be found possibly. And let's see here, we got two more cars, I think. Another 959, a no name 959, made in China. Let's see if I can fix that wheel. A lot of these cars, I mean, the body, the body toolings weren't that bad, but their wheels were awful. So funny, because wheels are like one of the most important parts of what makes the car look good. Or at least we got it rolling. But again, look at that. Just an oddball, oddball thing. Oh, wheel went back up in the body again. Oh, there we go. Weirdness. All right. And then lastly, we get a van. What is this? What? This has a tag on it. Hey, it's in mint shape. This is a Racing Champions tooling. Yeah, Racing Champions. What the heck? It's weird that it's got this on the bottom. Let me try to cut that off. Get this tag off of here. See if we can. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. I'll work on that off camera. But look at that thing. It is bright green. Mean it in bright green. <laughs> Plastic tires, but look at that thing. It looks awesome. 
So that is weird and cool. Let's see, did it hit eight plus on that? Um, Ertl Collectibles is what it was branded as. Even though it's a Racing Champions, because uh, I think Racing Champions, just like Johnny Lightning and stuff, got bought out by Tommy, uh, who I think also owns Ertl. And that would be why. Let me get this freaking thing off of here. But we'll work on that off camera. All right, so that's going to be it for this one. Uh, just wanted to show you guys these weird cars as I pulled them out. I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to kind of, you know, see them together. So, all right, that's going to be it. Thank you guys very much for watching this uh, kind of long video. And uh, have a great day.